This video examines how the time series analysis is used in the SPC for Excel software. You begin like you do many times with the SPC for Excel software. You enter your data into an Excel spreadsheet. Here we have the title coolers, and this has given us the number of cooler sales per month, for example. And we want to see if we can use the time series analysis to forecast perhaps future sales. So we enter the data, then you come up to the SPC for Excel ribbon, you come over to the analysis panel, and you see time series here. You select that, and what you'll see is that the data underneath coolers is automatically selected. You don't have to select it ahead of time, and it, the title is there as well. And then you select your type of time series analysis, either linear, quadratic, exponential growth, single exponential smoothing, double exponential smoothing, winner's method, or the moving average. We're going to take a look at the quadratic here, and we want the number of forecasts to generate. We're going to say for another six months, we select OK and we have our chart is produced and you can see it's the coolers with a quadratic model you see here you have the actual results in turquoise our fitted model is in the blue and here we have the green which is the forecast values now what this this does is it uh, it finds the uh, the model based on the the errors there are three things you can use to to analyze how good the results are it's the MAPE value which is the mean absolute percentage error the MAD which is the absolute deviation mean absolute deviation and MSD which is the mean squared deviation and then down here is the actual quadratic model and since we printed out the results you can come over here to this page and you can see the quadratic model for coolers results it gives you the quadratic equation it gives you the three error terms we just talked about and it gives you the actual fitted residuals and down here as well is your forecast values so that's how you use the quadratic portion of the time series analysis Sometimes you're going to have data in a time series analysis that involves having uh, not only a level component, but also a trend component. And here we have sales on a yearly basis for a company, and we want to use a time series analysis to predict future sales. So again, you enter your data into an Excel spreadsheet as we have here, just have to select the first cell, select SPC for Excel ribbon, come over to the analysis panel, select time series, and again, we have our title entered and the day range underneath it is, is automatically selected. We're going to go then with a double exponential smoothing this time, since we're going to have both a trend uh, and a level component. And the number of forecasts, we're just going to forecast three this time. We want to print out the results and select OK. And now you see you have some choices for the weight options because you can either have the program optimize the level and trend weights. In this case, what they're doing is they're going to find the values of level and trend weights that minimize the error. Or you can enter the values if you like. We'll leave it as optimize here. You select OK. And the program comes up and finds the weight and the trend is shown down here what those levels are and it prints out the results based on that again the blue in this case is the fitted level we have the turquoise as the actual letter level the forecast and in this case we also have upper and lower 95 percent prediction limits and again we have our error terms here to allow you to compare uh, different models to each other The software also has a component to a uh, time series analysis component to look at it when you have a level trend plus a seasonal effect and it's called the winner's method. And the process is the same. You enter your data. Here we have some sales data uh, in, in our Excel spreadsheet and we want to fit the time series analysis to it and predict what's going to happen in the future. So we come up here with our SPC ribbon, for Excel ribbon, come across to analysis and time series and this time we're going to select winter's method. Again you have the title up here in the data range automatically selected. Okay we're going to select four for a number of forecasts to generate and we're going to take the option to print out results. Now what we have here with the winner's method is you have to define what the seasonal length is. We're going to go ahead and select four and there are two types. You have the uh, multiplicative or the additive winners. We're going to use the uh, multiplicative and again down here on the weight options you have three level trend and seasonal you can optimize the weights the program will optimize those to minimize the error or you can enter the weights and we're going to enter the weights just in this case as, as 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0.2 we select OK and you get your results you have your sales up here with the winners winners multiplicative method it gives you the seasonal length and again you have your actual results uh, your fitted results and your forecasted results along with the 95% uh, prediction 
limits. And so you see down here, these are the weights that we input. Again, you can have the, the program automatically look to uh, minimize the error and select the, the weights that will do that. But this is how you use the SPC for Excel uh, software for the time series analysis. Thank you for watching the video.